Hello, my name is Nora, and I'm going to read Library Mouse, A World to Explore by Daniel Kirk. Sam was a library mouse. He lived in a little hole in the wall behind the children's reference books. Every night, he went looking for adventure between the covers of books. One evening, Sam went for a stroll. He smiled to see the class project children had made to place atop the library cells. A poster on the wall read, Discover our great big world. It is a great big world, Sam said, and I love to read all about it. Then he started gazing at all the books on the top of the cells, which were just a little too high for him to climb. Egypt. Suddenly, Sam saw something out of the corner of his eye. Swish! Another... Mouse waving gracefully on the floor right in front of him. Whoa, she said, that was some ride. Good thing I had my parachute. She stuck out her paw and smiled. Hi, my name, my name's Sarah. What's yours? I'm Sam, he answered, and I live here. I live here too, Sarah said, on the other side of the library. I was exploring, and that's when I discovered that playground. Playground, said Sam. On the cell, sir explained. You can almost see the whole world. I went on the giant slide. I didn't know I was going to fall so far, though. You climbed all the way up there, Sam asked. He never had never dared to go all the way to the top. Look, she's up there holding on. Now she's going down the slide, and she's climbing right up there. Sure, sir said. I'm an explorer. All explorers climb. Sam shook his head. Well, that's not a slide. You just went down the side of a pyramid. And what? A pyramid, Sam said. Like the nation Egypt, only children made this one. There are pictures of real pyramids in these books. You knocked off the shelf. Wow, Sam said. I didn't know there were books about stuff like this. Are there books about those other fun things I was climbing, Sarah said? You mean the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower, Sam grinned? Follow me. We're going to do some research, Sam said. We'll start with Egypt. What's research, Sarah asked. It's how you find out about things, Sam said. If you can't go to the real parent branch, you can read about them. Right over here. Sam and Sarah poured over dozens of books, and Sarah oohed and awed at the pictures. She gazed up at the tall selves and said, Reachers is fun. Let's climb up high and see what books are up there. There's Egypt, Egypt, and that looks like the boots. Not tonight, Sam said, looking wearily at the tall selves. Maybe we could play down here. Let's pretend we're pharaohs in ancient Egypt, Sarah replied. We could use these books for research on how to dress up. It was nearly daylight when Sam returned home. He picked up his pencil to write about what happened. He had never met anyone like Sierra before. But pharaohs. The next night, Sarah said, There's a jeep up there that's just our size, Sam. Come on, we can pretend we're exploring and drive to the top of the tallest mountain. I don't think you can drive to the top of the tallest mountain in a jeep. Sam said. Besides, we can pretend from down here. You're not afraid, are you? Sir asked. Of course not, Sam said in a squeaky voice. Sarah saw that Sam was nervous. We could do a little research first, she said. Good idea, said Sam. Well, well looking at a book about mountain climbers, Sarah had another idea. I'll be right back, she said. She returned with some string and a paper clip. I'll hook one end of the string to the top, she said. Then I'll drop the other end down for you to tie around your waist. That way you won't have to worry about falling. I'm not worried, Sam said, as he started to climb. Soon it was his turn. He remembered he had read that when climbing he should not look down. So he didn't. At the top of the shelf, Sam breathed a sigh of relief. It hadn't been as scary as he thought it would be. And he and Sarah played and played until dawn. Back on the ground, Sarah said, You know, I bet we could explore even more of the world if we rode in that airplane over there. Sam looked up at the display the library had hung above the tallest cells. It doesn't really fly, he said, and we couldn't reach it anyway.
I know it can't fly, so I said, but think of how much of the world we could see up from up there. We can climb to the top of the bookshelf, then jump over to the plane. It'll be easy, but Sarah wouldn't take no for an answer. Sam, she said, tonight we're going to get into the airplane and we're going to see the world. Throughout the day, she was so nervous she could hardly sleep, sleep or read. He didn't want to let Sarah or himself down, but he didn't want to get into that airplane either. That night, Sarah led Sam to the top of the bookshelf. The airplane looked very far away. We're explorers and good jumpers, too. We can do it, Sarah said. Sam clenched his teeth and crept to the edge. Follow me, Sarah said, and then she jumped. Sam jumped, too, and they climbed to the seat behind Sarah. We're off to see the world, she cried. But just as that moment, the string that held up the airplane broke. Sarah hollered. Ah! Sam screamed. They sailed over the Eiffel Tower and the Great Wall of China, over the Statue of Liberty and the Great Pyramids. They sailed past volcanoes and mountaintops, past coral reefs and deserts between dark rows of bushels, and right up the door of the children's room. The should just probably, you know, play with the airplane because it has wheels on the ground if it's broke. The airplane bumped to a stop at the dark hallway. Sam leapt out of his seat. He didn't stop running until his back and his little hole in the wall. Sam! Sarah cried. Come back! His floors don't run for days, sir! <laughs> Sam hid behind his bed and wouldn't come out. But later, when his heart stopped pounding, he went to his writing desk, picked up his pencil, and got to work on a new pro project. Readers and writers are explorers, too, he said. Wow, Sarah said thanks. Eating once he saw Sam's book, Sam and Sarah see the world. We're both a couple of explorers, and we never had to leave the, even leave the library, said Sam. Sam and Sarah see the world, by Sam. We didn't have to leave the library, Sarah said with a twinkle in her eye. But just think of the books you could write if you really got to see the world. What do you say that we take a little research trip? As I strolled through the library, Sam didn't know what to say. He had never met a mouse like Sarah. I hope you enjoy the book, Library Mouse, Where to Explore. Bye.